travelers. I'm Kimmy and I'm Gary and in today's video we'll be doing a pumpkin painting contest. Today's video we are going to be painting two pumpkins each not just any style but Disney style. So we're each going to do two pumpkins. We're going to be creating them around a movie or Disney character and basically let you guys decide at home which pumpkin is your favorite. And we got this idea because every year at our fall festival we usually dress up as a Disney character and we'll usually paint a pumpkin that kind of goes with our costume. Yep. And we'll show you guys some examples here of the past few Halloweens that we have done this with. And we just thought it'd make a great video and a great little contest between the two of us. Yep. So, without further ado, let's get on to our painting Disney pumpkin. Let's roll. Alright guys, so last night was the grand opening of Hobby Lobby here where we live and we were really excited so I got all my materials from there last night. So the hardest part for me was picking out which pumpkins and which characters I wanted to do. So this pumpkin is going to be my princess pumpkin. I'm going to do pumpkin for Aurora. So I got some pink spray paint, some blue spray paint, and this is acrylic spray paint so hopefully that's good for this. I got some jewels and then for her crown I just got a poster board, a gold one, and I'm going to just draw it out and then put it on the pumpkin. This pumpkin is going to be a tribute to Black Panther and I got some black spray paint and some white acrylic paint for the face and we will see how it goes. So let's get painting! It was really hard to decide which characters to do for our contest. There were so many good ideas, but I think I finally narrowed it down. I think on this pumpkin, I'm going to do Vanellope Von Sweet. And so I've got some blue spray paint for her. And then we've got some like little candies to put around the pumpkin and some red ribbon for her hair. And then for this pumpkin, since Mulan just released, I'm going to pay tribute to that and so we've got some more spray paint for Mulan and then some ribbon to make her outfit with and of course the uh, flower to go on top. So first thing I guess we have to do is to clean up the pumpkins and then we will spray paint them. So let's get started. So now that we got them pretty much cleaned up, we're going to go spray paint them. Here's my cutout of my Aurora crown. I'm just tracing it onto the gold and I'm going to make the gold crown. And then I just did the whole width or length of the poster board because I didn't know how uh, long to make it fit around my pumpkin. So we're going to measure that out now. So I need about the whole thing anyway. So alright, we got our crown. And now I'm going to start hot gluing just some little silver beads on. A little extra touch. Okay, as you can see I'm just adding some bling onto the pumpkin. And that's all I really got besides the crown. Closer look at some of the jewels I'm putting on. 
kind of feel like I needed some gold jewels too to go with it, but this is what I got, so that's what I'm working with. And I'm there, and I'll show you guys the finished project in a little bit. All right, guys, now that we've got our pumpkins painted, we're gonna start decorating. I think we're gonna start with Mulan. So for Mulan's pumpkin, we've got some purple ribbon, some blue ribbon, red ribbon, and the flower. So let's get started. So next we're gonna take this purple ribbon and we're gonna make it the collar part of Mulan's dress. I didn't really like how this sash turned out because it looks too thin. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the ribbon and I'm going to double it and so that it's a little bit thicker around the body of my pumpkin. So we're on to take two. All right guys, I'm getting ready to paint the Wakanda. Black Panther. Okay guys, so I cut this stencil out and I'm cutting out each white part and then I'm gonna paint within the stencil line. Okay guys, so I'll be real honest with you. I was not liking the way that the paint was looking, so I had to go back outside, re-spray paint everything, get a fresh, clean slate, and I ended up just, um, I'm starting to cut out the pieces from the stencil, and I'm literally just gluing the paper onto the pumpkin, because it's like just so much cleaner, and the paint, with the paint brush strokes, just wasn't working for me, so that's what I'm doing now, and I'm just going with it. All right, so now that the pumpkin is all painted, we are gonna be making Vanellope. So I've got this brown ribbon here and we're gonna to try to make her skirt for the bottom and then we'll add the candy for the top. It's a little update here on her skirt. Um, it took a little while to figure it out. I actually had to get Kimmy over here to help me hold it. And so far, looking like a Reese cup <laughs> skirt there. So we actually started the ribbon here Kimmy had to put her finger in there and then I would glue down and then she would put her finger and glue down to me help measure it out. So we just got to finish around the bottom here and then it'll be time for the candy. All right, so now that we have her skirt on the bottom, I've got some little candies. I might make some candies out of cardboard cutouts. There's some gumdrop sprinkles. Got this red ribbon here to tie at the top for the bow. So here is my Vanellope. We've got the red ribbon for her hair. She's got a heart in her hair. This is the little X on the bottom of her sweatshirt. Um, I decided to add the You're My Hero necklace that they make in the movie, just to add a little touch to it. On the back here, we got some peppermints, gumdrop sprinkles. Um, this is a star like in her hair. And in the back here, as you guys can see, I added a little hidden Mickey. Yesterday, Kimmy finished her two pumpkins. I started working on Mulan, as you guys saw, but I felt like it was missing something. So I decided to go ahead and paint the bottom red. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I couldn't finish it last night. And as you guys can see, it is raining outside. So I'm just under the stairs here in a dry area so I can spray paint it. I covered the top so the pink wouldn't get ruined. And then I finished Vanellope last night. But I've got to finish up Mulan here, so let's get down to business. All right, so I finished the red, covered it. Now there's a few touch-ups I need to do with the pink around the back there too. So I'm gonna just touch it up and then let it dry and then we'll get decorating again. And for the finishing touch, we'll add the flower on top 
and then we will be all finished. Okay guys, here's a look at my Black Panther one. Just added the necklace, and I've got my two pumpkins ready. Alright guys, so there's my finished product for my pumpkins. We've got Vanellope and Mulan. Alright guys, so we have Black Panther, Princess Aurora, Vanellope, and Mulan. Let us know in the comments below which pumpkin design you like the best. And we will see you next time. Bye travelers!